Hi, you're watching Petodendron. In today's video, I'm showing you the best pet-friendly plants, and then I'm also gonna show you the worst plants for pets, the most toxic. Keep away. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick, and I love plants, and if you do too, you should definitely hit that subscribe button because I love going on these planty adventures and taking you along with. So if that sounds like something that could be fun for you, then you should definitely hit that subscribe button. Today's video is all about what is pet safe or pet friendly and we're going plant shopping. I'm showing you some of the best plants as well as some of the worst plants to stay away from. So without further ado, let's go plant shopping. The first pet safe pet friendly plant is the Aspidistra eleator, also known as the cast iron plant. These are great. They're super forgiving, really easy, and they're named cast iron because they can withstand a range of different conditions. This is a great one for beginner plant parents. This is something you don't have to worry about your pets getting into as well as it not giving you any kind of problems as far as growing it. Next house plant that is pet safe and is one of my favorite house plants especially for beginners because if you're not a beginner you probably already have this but this is the Pilea peperomioides and it's also known as the Chinese money plant the friendship plant it has many nicknames and another nickname now is pet safe <laughs> this is really cool another really cool thing and why they're called friendship plants is because they tend to grow little babies at the base of the plant and you could take those and plant them and grow them into whole other plants and another perk is that you don't have to worry about your pets if they chew on the leaves or anything like that. Pilea peperomioides, safe for pets. I really love the way that this plant looks too. And when they are happy, they tend to grow, as you can see, many different plants in one pot. I wonder how much this is. $22.99 for the six inch pot. Another plant that is pet safe is the peperomia especially the Peperomia obtusifolia. I feel like these are a lot easier to care for than their ripple cousins. However, the Peperomia ripples, like this beautiful Peperomia frost, look at this, beautiful trap. <laughs> these traps are indeed pet safe. next plant that is pet safe is the Fetonia alba venice and this is the pink version but I love the Fetonia. I love a good veiny plant because these are dramatic when these need water and they're thirsty they look like they're at death's door if not like through death's door <laughs> but They'll just bounce back once you give them some water, which is really cool. And I love like how nice and firm they feel compared to how soft and limp and lifeless they feel when they're thirsty. It really, really gives me like that full of life feeling. <laughs> these are pet safe. I'm not like saying, yeah, give these to your pets and make them eat it. I'm just pointing out these plants if in fact they do happen to get into your plants, that you don't have to worry because these are non-toxic. So these aren't necessarily like pet treats, <laughs> but these are just plants that you don't have to worry about if your pet happens to get into them. I fully recommend keeping your plants like out of the reach of your pets because A, it's frustrating to have chewed up leaves when you're trying really hard to grow something beautiful but it's also just not that good of a habit for your pet to get into so another pet friendly trap 
is the polka dot plant. Although I've never seen one flower. That is really cute. The Hypoestes pet safe. While we're on the topic of traps, here is another pet safe trap. This is the Calathea Macoyana. This is one of my favorites of the Calatheas because I love how beautiful the leaves are. Look at that. Really cool, intricate pattern on the leaves. And then the backside, surprise, there's more. <laughs> yes, these are pet safe. I, again, wouldn't recommend letting your pet chew on this because it's so pretty. Next pet safe plant is this Maranta. Maranta lemon lime, Maranta lucanura. I just love the lemon lime. I think it's so beautiful. And I love the way that Marantas have leaves that move up and down depending on the time of day. At night, they are folded up. They're rusting. They are not solar panels. But during the day, they splay out and are ready to receive the sun's rays. Not direct sun though, just indirect sun. <laughs> this is pet safe and it is also beautiful and it's also one of my favorite house plants. This one's $19.99. Another pet safe plant is the maiden hair fern. Yes, it is the most iconic most controversial trap <laughs> but yes these are pet safe Ziggy's favorite plant the maiden hair fern go figure <laughs> next pet safe plant is one of my favorite like genuses of plants and that is the Hoya these are pet safe non-toxic to your pets. That is what pet safe means. And there are different types of Hoyas. See, this is the Hoya obovada. There's the Hoya australis lisa. Hoya carnosa crimson queen, that beautiful variegated leaf. And the Hoya carii with its heart-shaped leaves. And, you know, that's just an example of a few, like a, a small snippet of types of Hoyas. There's many different types out there. And another thing I love about Hoyas are their flowers. See, that's the flower. None of them here are flowering. But once you get one of these in your garden, you will be so, so hooked. Just like me. I didn't get Hoyas for the longest time, but I finally got a Hoya bloom under my care, and hi, yeah, I'm a Hoya addict. Next pet safe plant is another one of my favorites, and this is a classic, and it's a classic for a reason, because it's fun to grow, and they're beautiful. The money tree, also known as the Pachira aquatica, these are Pet safe, pet friendly. Next pet safe plant is the spider plant. This is the Chlorophytum camosum, and also known as the spider plant. These are called spider plants because they have little babies that grow on these long little things that look like, I don't know, spider webs. <laughs> these are pet safe, but funny thing is, doesn't matter because these are usually hanging pretty high so most pets can't get to it anyways but if you happen to be watering this and your cat or your dog just chews it up hopefully that doesn't happen first of all but you don't have to worry about your pet because these are you guessed it pet friendly pet safe <laughs> next pet safe plant was kind of surprising and that's orchids yeah orchids are pet friendly and they're really easy to care for too Ooh, I love these this is a cool phalaenopsis 
And African violets are actually really great pet-friendly houseplants. You know what else is pet-friendly? Um, Venus flytraps. Although I like to keep mine outside, so my cats don't necessarily get to meet my flytraps. <laughs> Bromeliads. Bromeliads are pet-friendly. They're really pretty too, aren't they? Staghorn ferns are pet friendly, pet safe, pet friendly, pet safe. Don't think I forgot about the cacti and succulents because there are some friendly ones and some toxic ones over here too, so I'm gonna check those out. Haworthias. These are Haworthias, Haworthia truncata, and the Haworthia fasciata, which is probably the most common kind that you'll see. And there are these types of Haworthias too that are really cute. Haworthia retusa. These are really cool succulents, and they're pet friendly. Sedum. This sedum, also known as the donkey tail, is safe for pets. Echeveria. These are safe for your pets. Apuntias are actually pet safe, but are they really? <laughs> so those are all the plants that are pet friendly. Let me go over the plants that are not pet friendly. These are the plants that you want to definitely keep out of reach because these plants tend to have more severe symptoms if ingested. I'm gonna start this bad list off with ivy. I don't like to keep ivy in the house or even outside the house. I just, I'm not a fan of it, but definitely just be extra careful with ivy if you have a pet. Some of the effects of eating ivy, rash, breathing problems, coma, or even paralysis. So definitely keep the IV away from your pet's reach. The next plant that I'm gonna show you is the Diffenbachia. The Diffenbachia is so toxic. It's toxic to both humans and pets, and it's actually a numbing agent. And the effects of eating Diffenbachia are pretty harsh. It's difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, difficulty speaking, and then eventually death. So it's highly, highly toxic. Keep it out of reach of your pets or children even. The next plant that's highly toxic to animals is a plant that also has similar effects as the Diffenbachia, and that is the Caladium. And that's really surprising to me. If you have a Caladium and you have a pet, <laughs> Definitely keep those two away from each other. Next plant that's toxic to animals is on a lot of beginners list, and that is the ZZ plant. The ZZ plant is bad for animals because it causes severe vomiting and diarrhea. And the next highly toxic plant that I'm adding to this list is also in a lot of people's beginners list. And that is the golden pothos. We all love golden pothos, but definitely keep it away from your pet's reach. It is a mouth irritant and the effects are mild to severe depending on how much they ingest and how big or small your pet is. So just keep them out of reach. Luckily, we keep them hanging for most of the time. Sometimes we grow them up steaks and when we do that, just make sure that you put it in a room where your cat can't get to it. Next plant is very common, so you probably have this around your house. That is the Kalanchoe. The Kalanchoe is toxic to your pets. So this is the Kalanchoe. The Kalanchoe contains cardiac glycosides and that causes heart problems if ingested. So that's not good. The jade plant is another commonly owned succulent. 
but these are actually toxic to your pets. If ingested, it causes vomiting, a decreased heart rate, also known as bradycardia, and depression, which is really sad. You know, one plant that surprised me that isn't safe for pets is the aloe vera. While the actual juice of the aloe vera is safe for the pets, it is the sap or the latex that's in the skin of the aloe that is not safe for your pet. It causes severe stomach upset, so diarrhea, nausea, all of that. More Kalanchoes, not safe. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun showing you some of the best pet friendly plants there are out there as well as so showing you some of the most toxic ones. Some of the ones that I couldn't find that I wanted to go over were lilies. True lilies, like not uh, peace lilies or anything like that, but li with a flower. All parts of that plant are toxic to cats and dogs, cats especially, but even the pollen or anything, and that causes kidney failure. So that is definitely something to keep away from your pets. And another one that I wanted to talk about was sago palm. Sago palm is mainly an outdoor plant, but I do see it marketed as an indoor plant sometimes. If you have a sago palm, keep that away from your dog or cat, as that is really toxic to them as well. I did buy this trap. I bought the most notorious trap of them all, this maiden hair fern. And I want to document this on my Patreon just to see how long I can keep it beautiful or how fast it deteriorates depending on the outcome. But yeah, I have a Patreon and I will put the link in my description below and you can check that out if you'd like. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments, and I'll meet you there. Bye!